It was looking so scraggly there, I had a homeless guy try to give me five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. <laughs> What's up YouTube, this is Jesse here at the Beer Baron Barbershop in Austin, Texas with my friend Robert and he doesn't want to be Santa for Christmas so we're going to change that. So we're going to clean them up pretty good. So I see from that all I need to see, I mean, um, nice taper on the side. I'm going to do a little more gradual. I don't want to take such a high fade. I mean, you want it short on the sides, right? Well, shorter. I mean, yeah. maybe not that short. Yeah, not, you know, yeah. Just Still more, I'm going to say a little more uh, Oops. classic on the hair. That's a little okay. more. I'm going to go a yeah. little more classic yeah. on here, just a touch. But I will, I do like that you want your beard clean up and that we will the beard, kind of you think sharpen that's up close. that beard. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. he's got the high cheek line exactly. and all that. Exactly. Okay. okay. And, uh, the mustache. Are we keeping your mustache? Well, are we taking we it kind of down like to blend it that, into the beard? You know, I maybe trim even with the bottom of the lip or okay. something like that. Okay. You know, straight across. Okay. Because now it's just okay. running wild. Okay. You know? So you're not, oh, you're not you're not attached to having this big mustache. No. Okay. No. Okay. No, okay. Great. I, I don't think the separate uh -huh. mustache okay. would probably be more work. If okay. I could, if I can. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll say. Yeah. Just take we'll a shower in the morning and. Yep. Even though you nice got fine products, you know, <laughs> yes, the, the yes, sir, less yes, maintenance, sir. the better. Yes, sir. You know, kind of. So, Robert, do you, do you uh, work now? What do you do now, man? Just uh, retired about a year ago. Okay, from what? And uh, I was a construction project manager. Okay. So, I would hire architects, oh, wow. contractors, and manage the job. So, mm -hmm. And also get blamed for everything. <laughs> No going back now. No, sir. <laughs> Save that hair, it's valuable. Yeah, it worked hard. You worked yeah. hard to grow That's it. That's right. Huh? So we're going with the classic taper that's going to be a little tighter than the, than the classic taper. A little higher, a little more organized. The main thing is is groomable and easy in the morning. So yeah, yeah. lower maintenance low typically maintenance. means super short or long and yeah, let it do yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's not really an in-between with low maintenance. Yeah. Hey, I got a labradoodle. Can I bring that in here for a trim? Oh man, you know okay. they actually use these same clippers to, oh, really? to trim. Yeah, to trim dogs. But no, I have no idea okay. how that works. Okay. Once I found out how much they charge to oh, dog yeah, you're groom, like, I should have gotten to Yeah, I think that, that that's, the, yeah. that's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, you got more hair, hopefully. Bob, you got a client that owns a grooming shop, right? Yes, oh, the pet grooming shop, yeah. Yeah. And he did say <laughs> that owners and the dogs typically look alike. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Why are you making are you making Rob look like his his? Oh. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Wait till he, wait till he trims my tail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> These videos are used for your performance evaluation and your empl <laughs> yeah. employee file. No, if that was the case, Bob would have been let go a long time ago. <laughs> Just refining this blend with scissor over comb, and then we can move on to uh, trimming up the top and giving it a little bit of shape so it styles easier. You know what this building was before you? Uh, it was, a, it was a spy shop. What kind of shop? A spy shop. Like people, spy? Yeah, people, like, they sold spy gear here. Really? Yeah, people still come here looking for it. Really? So well, see, what kind of spy are you that doesn't know that the place is not here anymore? Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> what the heck? You're a bad spy. was a teenager in Chicago there was like a kind of a barber beautician college or you know yeah. and you could go in there and get like free haircuts mm -hmm. so I don't know if that was a smart thing to do or not. well now you know when bar when I was in barber school yeah. haircuts were seven dollars so. yeah oh well, for customers yeah in, yeah 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 Uh, no, but we got to keep tips, but $7 went to the school. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, okay. it, it's a good day if you made enough, you know, tips to go buy, like, a $10 lunch or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's a good day yeah. when, you, when you're, 
lunch was paid for and tips, and that was right. like the first real like taste right. that you had of like making money as a barber, yeah, and that's yeah. kind of what kept you going right. through school was trying to see how much money you can make. Yeah, like you know, oh wow, I made thirty dollars today. That's great, yeah. you know. Is this a little better? Okay. <laughs> so as long as you got it long enough for me to comb, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to take it too short, but I do want it to be. I think I would rather leave this longer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm usually. So, you it, know, so it goes up, you know, because it grows up to the forehead. If it's too short, it's sticking yeah, straight out. So yeah. I do want it long enough to, for you to, Put you know, push it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you part your hair at all? Yeah, I try to use okay. my part there, but okay. I mean, I'm. A, Cool. Baseball hat yeah. guy yeah. most of the time, anyway. So and that's why it's not too much uh, to take care of. Yeah. It, you can part yeah. it, or yeah. if you know you wake up and it all goes yeah. to the side, yeah. that's fine too. Yeah. You know, um, just kind of give you the option there. So, what kind of frequency do guys, customers usually come in for like a beard trim, or it depends? Anywhere from yeah, yeah. it varies. Two yeah. weeks, six weeks. Really? Yeah. Wow. Longer, short, like you know couple of us got weekly clients, you know, wow, hair and beard, you know, it just, yeah. it just depends because, wow. you know, home, home maintenance definitely takes place. So it's yeah. whatever yeah. they're like, okay, yeah. now it's too long for me to trim back. Right, right. I need to go get it reset yeah. or I need to find that neckline again. Yeah, yeah. I just figured if I tried to uh, do anything, you know, all I need is do a hiccup <laughs> and I'm down to the flesh. <laughs> yep. One and, that, and that's happened. One, I, I, one hear, I hear stories about guys going over it and going over it again, going yeah. over it again until yeah. it's gone. Yeah. I say, you know what, I ended yeah. up shaving it off yeah. and had to wait a couple months for it to come yeah. back. Yeah. Just finding my way around a couple texture changes and growth patterns that you have in your hair. Whenever you have yeah. the gray hair, the textures get um, different. They yeah. vary. They vary from the top of the head yeah. to the side of the head. And okay, so we're gonna meet in the middle here. I'm not going to, of course, edge up Robert. He's not going to edge up, but I will tackle some strays that he's got growing really far down on his forehead. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> Count Dracula look. Yeah. It's a receding headline, hairline yeah. just coming down. It's, it's like both. It's doing a dance. Yeah. It's like yeah. a little bit back, a yeah. little bit forward, yeah. and, and so in this case, I'd rather you yeah. use product or water or whatever to put oh. it back rather than the yeah. meat chop off your, yeah. your give you like okay. a, a hard hairline. That's fine. I don't know, probably barbers will disagree with me right now in the comments, but uh, Robert here is not 20 or 25 years old, so no, I will not edge him up. There is a... <laughs> Could you put lightning bolts? Is <laughs> right, there is, there is a, a, <laughs> a way to cut people of different ages. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this. <laughs> Feel free to call me Bob too. <laughs> oh, you go. Okay, yeah, he's 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 a. Yeah. Uh, okay, we yeah. got two Bobs here. Cool. Yeah, I got right. my. Rob, I'm, yeah, I'm Bob. Robert Roberto. You I'm know? Bob. My son's Bob. My grandson's Bob. My brother-in-law's Bob. His son's Bob. What we kind got, of uh, yeah. yeah? Yeah. When, when people. Yeah. 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 Ye
sort of does this kind of afro thing. On yeah. The set, you know? someone shows you a picture or it says I want a short beard you know that's what it means hair can always be like you know what man I think it should be a little longer but when people are ready to lose the beard they're ready to lose the beard and in this case we're sitting right in the middle we're not losing the beard we're just refining it uh, pretty heavily so he's gonna have plenty of beard left but that, that photo is so clean and so taken in. I know I have a way with him to, uh, man, I, once I give him a rough draft, he might even want to go tighter on it. So we'll ask Bob when we get there. I want it long enough I can put Christmas lights on. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, you can leave. No, that's so perfect. By the way, did I do the right thing, letting it grow out and then you can yeah. make yeah, it into exactly, something versus exactly. trying to grow to a specific distance? Both, <laughs> both work. Yeah. Both work. This, what you did requires less visits. Someone trying to grow into something yeah. Yeah. requires like every three or yeah. four weeks yeah. I come in, we'll, oh, okay. we'll make sure we grow yeah. into the yeah. right spot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's great working with such a full beard like Bob here has because typically in maybe parts I would leave beard because philosophy is always to, I'd rather leave beard than not, than, than take it away, right? He's got such a full beard, I'm able to give him the lines that he's asking for because even though I took off a lot of hair on this, he's got so much beard. He has strong corners. We have a lot to work with. So when I... I'm trimming it up as closely as I am. I'm not feeling bad about it. Typically, if he was, if he had more uh, scarce beard, a little bit thinner, I'd be say, I would say, hey, let's leave this, let's leave that. But it's not the case here. Shaping up. 
podcast see one okay, side we're okay, coming okay. in here and then yeah, the right side's okay. gonna kind of follow there okay. um, you want any more length off here at the bottom what do you think what you, it's up to you i mean you the, the photo you showed me was a lot uh shorter um we could take it a tad shorter if, if that uh Is you're it, more comfortable with that um would you keep it this straight or, or curvy uh do you want it rounded well what do you, you want what it do you think? Shape? Well, let me just see yeah I'm just just uh, just referencing this was yeah, off, I mean, it's a little, it's a little more squared off, you know, it's a little more sculpted and um, but it's up to you if you want it rounded or, or, or straighter. So am I pretty close to that, you think, or? Maybe we just, so, maybe just a little yeah, round. Maybe off. just a little round. Yeah. Of maybe I'll just get that guy's yeah. number, send him, <laughs> send him home. <laughs> So what's the current uh, vogue as far as styles? More of a shorter beard, longer beard, this? Um, either or, yeah. um, but but cleaned up, right? Yeah. Sculpted yeah. and cleaned. Oh, and, 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 um, but at the same time, to each his own, yeah, you'd be yeah. surprised how many guys Z -Z sit in. Bob. How many guys sit in my chair and say, you know, don't touch the cheeks, don't, yeah, yeah. you know, just yeah. light, light, uh, right. light cleaning up. Yeah. Now they're the real good barbers. They got two clippers and they oh, go yeah, in at the same. Yeah, <laughs> and they use fire as well and kitchen knives. That's, you can't and, beat that. Uh, yeah, those guys, man. I mean, somehow they somehow make a living, man. Those, uh, those, those, those guys, fire man. starters. Yeah, they uh, are, are yeah. popular. Well, I know. think setting it on fire is no problem. It's putting it out. And what do you do? <laughs> Throw a bucket of water on the guy. Tell. So I, thought to, I thought you were just breathing heavy. Feel so free to take a little nap. Anything you miss about Chicago besides it being home? It's a home and <laughs> yeah. family, most of my okay. family still there. This is a spice citrus utility bomb. Gonna hold the beard into place, add the right amount of moisture. Because so your beard is pretty healthy. I mean, what's your routine like? Well, 20 push ups, 50 <laughs> sit ups. Oh, the, the beard routine. Oh, the routine. beard routine. Beard yeah. routine. I wash it every day. Yeah. I wash it every day. Very healthy. Feels great. The utility bomb just gives it that extra touch. I'd say about you coming to get cleaned up. I think she likes a longer beard, but okay. th but this is probably this is good. This is a good length. Uh, compromise, right? Good compromise. That's right. Yeah. So it makes it work for so long, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I guess you have that's to listen true. to each other or something. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. I've been married like uh, 42 years. Oh wow! Not happily been married. <laughs> <laughs> 42 nonetheless. 42. That's right.
Beauty. So now you gotta do is just kind of push it down, yeah, and it's, it's not gonna be. Uh, it's not it's gonna, gonna be under control. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm out. I don't have the hair, the, the styling bomb, but I do have the oh. beard bomb, and then we'll do it with that bar soap. Man. Terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank bomb. you very much. I'll put this under the Christmas tree. I'll save it. To the <laughs> <laughs> How long you been going out the beard for, man? Nine weeks since Halloween. It was originally just supposed to be uh, no shave November, but then yeah. sort of like then just let it grow from yeah, then on. No problem at all growing it out then, man. It's looking good. So. Yeah. What's up, y'all? It's Jesse here at the Beard Brand Barbershop in Austin, Texas. Here with the friend Alexander today. I'm um, gonna clean them up with a haircut and a beard trim and uh, get them all fresh for the new year. Alexander, my friend, what are we thinking of doing today, man? Um, I've sort of, I've been experimenting with something new this past year. Um, I got, def I've been getting a fade, um, uh -huh. more on the sides and long on top. Uh -huh. um, that's sort of what, what I want to keep, but also I, um, I'm trying to keep that in with the beard uh -huh. that I'm also growing for the first time. Yeah, man. Um, no, it's looking I'll great, man. Just like sort of taper it in with the um, side yeah. bits. Yeah, and just like like clean it up here, and you still, you like the length, or you don't really want to go shorter. You don't yeah. want to like mow it down or anything. Yeah, I like the length too. Okay, so I'll just I'll just shape it up a little bit then, edge it up, shape it up, um, and everything. All right, as for the hair, man, how short on the sides? Uh, I've been getting a two, but yeah, I think a yeah. two would be fine. Where are you from, man? Um, right, I'm from Austin, so. All right, yeah. uh, what part? Uh, Mainer-ish, Okay. Of yeah, man, I'm from Buda, I'm from the Buda area, so yeah, I'm from, um, you know, born and raised in Austin. I was born at the, what, the St. John downtown? Oh, I was born at the St. David's. Okay, from yeah. Yes, yeah, so the St. David, St. John. Mm -hmm. St. John's the street, I'm oh, tripping. Really? <laughs> Same place. No, I, was, I was born at the St. David on, um, <laughs> Red River. Mm-hmm. How's your quarantine been, man? Ah, uh, it's been good. Um, I originally lived alone, or my roommate moved out. Uh huh. Okay. Um, and I was pretty much alone um, during the school week, but in August I moved in with four yeah. of the guys, so it's been fun. So you said you work at the hospital. What do you do over there? Uh, I work in food service right now. And okay. I'm, yeah, pretty much what I've been doing. So they gave, they hooked y'all up with the vaccine or what? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, they offered right. it to all of us and all most right. of us have gotten it, so that's fun. So what's your uh, morning routine like, man? Uh, how do you style the hair or what do you do to the beard? I mean, um, if you do anything. Yeah, after I take a shower, usually um, I used to be able to style it more, but as I've gotten more length, I've gotten sort of lazy with it. Uh -huh, yeah, and, it's uh, easy to do that, yeah. Yeah, and since I, I don't really style it unless I'm planning on going out. Uh -huh. um, going out as in the grocery store. Yeah. Um, or just painting with my uh, roommates, stuff like that. So I don't really have a reason to style it at this point. Yeah. But I just put styling in it. And, uh, beard oil on beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you tend to go like section by section with your fades? Kind of like get like a guideline? It depends. Of, like, I usually, uh, I like to attack the crown first, get this blended, and then I'll work down maybe one half of the head at a time. Um, definitely need to get better at that myself, is having a more structured process for every haircut, but every haircut's different, so my process doesn't really apply across the board. Um, but. Typically, I'll do two or three and clipper over comb the rest. I like doing clipper over comb and sheer work um, for my blending rather than swapping a two guard all the way up to a five guard or something. For me, it just works quicker and blends a little easier when I'm clip, do, using clipper over comb or scissor over comb or something like that.
Pretty happy with everything going along on the sides now, so I'll move up to the shear work on top. Typically with my scissor work, I'll take a section straight down the middle and match that all around. So we're going about three quarters of an inch here. Something a little more than that. How much time are you willing to spend in the mirror every morning? Are you like, do you want to just do like 10 minutes of styling? Do you want to do like the quickest way out? Or do you not mind maybe like, re like revamping your routine and like maybe spending some more time in front of the mirror? I mean, I definitely don't mind spending more time okay. in front of the mirror. Cool. If it gets me some, something I like. Yeah. Yeah, dude, definitely uh, get back on that blow dryer with the length and texture of your hair. It needs a little bit of uh, assistance with the heat. Mm. Um, it'll kind of probably give you a style more than what you're what you're looking for. So damp hair at the blow dryer, maybe a little bit of a condition, a little bit of something like our styling balm, and then blow the, dry that, and it'll have a nice shape that will mm -hmm. probably hold all day. You know, you'll have you'll have to fight with it. Yeah. If you find yourself, I, I imagine you do with it with hair that's heavier, kind of fighting with it during the day, maybe. Yeah. All the yeah. Time. That's my issues also that I sort of grab my hair a lot. Yeah. Just like for fun. So. Exactly, man. Now, when I, I'll, I'll start you here, here when we're done and uh, give you some tips and everything, man, to kind of make your life easier. Thanks. Start the beard a little bit. Bring this line down, sharpen that up. Then I'll probably lean them back and do most of the beard work. And he's laying back. So I'm just edging him up, giving him a little clean line under his beard and getting rid of what is starting to become some neck beard. And when we set him up, I'll talk about a little more why we don't want neck beard. That may be very successful growth for some guys, but there is reasons why neckbeard is no bueno. Put some product in your hair, go over some styling with you, man. And uh, talk a little bit about neck beard for those guys who got that hair going down their neck. So what neck beard does is drops that line and elongates your face in an unflattering way. So when you make sure to edge up your beard, you wanna get it underneath the chin and behind the chin. So you have your face in a more, in your natural shape in a more pointed way. Um, and it kind of just sculpts your face just by doing that. If it, people will be like, oh, you know, it's growing so well. On, on, it's like, no, get that off of there. And it's going to really shape up the face um, instantly because now you're going to be looking at the chin, right, at, the, at that point instead of looking at all this. Because when this is all grown out, you just kind of got like, people just see like a, a blob 
at the bottom of your face, but getting rid of that neck beard, shaping up the beard, really, uh, really uh, sh uh, shapes up the face, and it's a lot of uh, illusion and whatnot, man, that people don't think about really. Let me grab a styling bomb. Okay, we'll, we'll match the scent. We'll go with some old money styling bomb. Get a good dab of this in there. And then what I do is when my hair is damp by the shower, I'll take a dab of this, kind of apply it through my damp hair, blow dry, and then add more. Um, yeah, some free game for, for you people at home. Marshalls, man, if you don't have a blow dryer or any styling tools, Marshalls has a great beauty section at great prices. So if you don't have a blow dryer, you should probably get one. With the blow drying, it's gonna make your life a lot easier, man. Hot than cold, it's science, you know? Heats up the follicles, opens them up and cold, kind of seals them shut, pointed in the direction you want them in. So we'll do that a little bit here for you. Probably go a little up in the front for a little bit of volume. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then on the blow dryer, you're going to use what's called the cool shot. It's just this trigger here. And just go over that with the cold air. And so this is just with some product and blow drying. That's that's really gonna stay out of your uh, face all day, man. Of course you'll have a little, you know, but and then what, what you typically I would do, I'll just go back in with a dab more. You know what? I accidentally grabbed the utility bomb, but I'm gonna use it. Can add a little shine to the hair. I like shine. Kind of fell off trend. A lot of guys like the matte look. Kind of put some oil in your hair. Shine it up. Make you a little more dapper. As soon as I, w I knew I was hitting Austin, I was like, I gotta go get my beard trim right here. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> for the year birthday, I was like, all right, I deserve it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Jesse here at the Beard Brand Barbershop in Austin, Texas. Here with my buddy, Mateo, and we're gonna hook, up, hook him up with a beard trim today. So, we got a nice beard, man. Thank you. Uh, what are we doing today with them, man? Just uh, mainly, I was thinking of just some maintenance. Um, I grown it for a bit longer than a year. Yeah. Uh, now with a couple of trims that I did myself, but um, I haven't gone to a proper barber shop to like have a had a nice shave yeah. or, or done any okay. good maintenance on it. Uh, yeah. So mainly that, but keeping kind of the length. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, I'm also I'm, I'm also in, up for your suggestions, yeah. like whatever you see that could help my. Yeah my shape of face or yeah, something like that. Yeah, of course. All right, man, let me uh, look around. You have strong cheek line. I would just reinforce that with the razor mm -hmm. and then trim up the back here, the jaw line, and I'm probably square square off the sides here. Mm -hmm. Take this this, and, and line it up with your face. Mm -hmm. And then, um, let's look up for me real quick. And then underneath, man, just, you know, set a line in there. Mm -hmm. You've done some I mean, decent at homework, I guess. It's not, it's not like the craziest uh, going on under there, so it makes my job a little easier. So yeah, shape everything up and then give you some nice lines and then, uh, and then we'll go from there, man. Awesome. How long you been uh, growing it up for? Uh, a bit over a year now. All right. Uh, I lost a bet December last year. <laughs> I yeah. had a beard. Yeah. And I lost the bed, so I had to shave it off. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Sheesh, man. What was the bet? 
Um, it was like a work bed if, um, if a, a couple of, uh, of the guys could sell um, as much as the target was for that month. Okay. And they reached it. So okay. I had to pay out. That's good, good motivation <laughs> then, man. It worked. Everyone wanted yeah. to see me clean shaven. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I hate it. I mean, I, I got so depressed afterwards. Yeah. I didn't do, I didn't hit the gym for like a month before it grew somehow. But it's back, I swear, man. I swear, I felt, I don't know. Yeah. How long have you been in Austin for? What brings you here? Uh, in Austin, I've been a day, really. What? Um, because uh, I'm going to school in Denver, Colorado. Uh huh. Uh, but I spent the holidays in Florida. So yeah. I drove all the way down there uh, for the holidays, and now I'm driving all the way mm -hmm. up there. And, wow. Uh, on the way down, I did like a northern route. Okay. So I did like um, Kansas, Arkansas, uh, Tennessee, mm -hmm. North Carolina, then a bit of South Carolina, Georgia. Yeah. And I went to, um, let's see. Kansas City, Oklahoma City, yeah. Nashville, Knoxville, Memphis, mm. Asheville. Then I hit, when, when I went all the way to the coast, I did Charleston, Savannah, uh, and then just uh, spend the holidays in Orlando. Okay. And now, to avoid the cold, uh, me and my girlfriend are doing a southern route. Uh -huh. So we did Jacksonville, Tallahassee, New Orleans, Oh wow. New Orleans was really cool. So I you're on the road know. right now? Yeah. Okay. And now uh, we did Houston yesterday. We went to the NASA, the Johnson Space Center. Mm -hmm. That place is really cool. Um, and then we're here today and then we're gonna hit, uh, what is it, San Antonio and then all the way to El Paso, mm -hmm. um, Las Cruces, um, Albuquerque, yeah. and then just all the way up home. As soon as I, w I knew I was hitting Austin, I was like, I gotta go. Get my beard trim right here. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> for the year birthday, I was like, all right, I deserve it. <laughs> yeah. No more home trims, especially over the past year that we had, man. Oh. All the home trims. But it was a good opportunity to just like let it grow. Exactly. Really. That's, that's what you need, man, mm -hmm. especially growing a beard like this. I can't do that, man. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that working here now. Maybe I got to try it again. But being Filipino, man, I'm not so sure. It's, un it's in me. <laughs> I got the mustache going on. Yeah, but. I just say you love the mustache. You just yeah. love the look of the stash, yeah. and you're like, no, yeah. no, I don't want a beard. I like the stash. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to start going down, taking this in, mm -hmm. and then we're going to just really straighten it out and then uh, keep the bot uh, bottom nice and full. I don't want to like give you any harder like angles unless mm -hmm. that's like your shape, but you know, we're going to keep it basically pretty natural, man. Like yeah. pretty uh, natural here at the bottom, but that, with yeah. some nice reinforcement of shape up top. Mm -hmm. I always at least try to do that at home, mm -hmm. but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So right now I got my clipper about halfway open. Um, I'm going to close it down uh, all the way when I want more precision. But right now, taking off the bulk work, I'm going to leave my clipper a little open just so it's softer at first, and then I'll bring that shape in. And when you're sculpting the beard, you always want to be combing it out. Mm -hmm. Make sure to bring any of those curls out. You want to make multiple passes, just like you would with curly hair, with afro hair. Shaping up an afro, shaping up a flat top, a similar thing. Mm -hmm. A little rough draft right now. And just already, you see, by taking down those sides, man, mm -hmm. looking cleaner because even though the beard is covering your face, you know, we're not trying to hide the shape of your face. Uh, <laughs> You know, beards actually accentuate facial features. Getting started on the bottom here, shaping the bottom up. And in a bit, we'll send him back, have him look up, and get underneath this beard.
So he's already got a natural line where he does his at-home work. And I'm just going straight to that line, setting an angle behind the beard. It's not taking anything off the front of the beard. Let's get a bevel underneath the beard. So we still have the appearance of all that length in the front, but it's gonna be a little more organized underneath and in the back. Kind of over direct some of these beard hairs so that line stays cleaner. So now we're starting to see the whole shape of the beard take place. All right, now I got almost everything shaped up. I'm just gonna go over the bottom here, mm -hmm. kind of bring this in, wrangle this in, but I don't want anything too squared, too perfect almost, mm -hmm. um, because in getting to know you the last like 20 minutes, man, it's not, you're not this like perfectly squared beard guy. I mean, no. you're on the road in a van, <laughs> man. You know, I just think it would just suit you a little better to just still have that natural way about you, you know? I mean, you got the hair going. Mm -hmm. I got soft hands, man. People told me that my whole life. I think I don't work or something. It's just Asian, man. It's got soft skin, bro. It's gonna be still a little bit of a softer line mm -hmm. on top, even though I edge it up with a razor because I don't want to cut. I don't I'm not trying to cut too deep in that to get this dark, dark, fancy line. You know, mm -hmm. smoke this mustache.
How's it looking so far, man? It looks awesome. Just a few more details, man. I think we'll be good, and I'll send. I'll uh, put throw some product in there. You know, bring out the the shine, that red shine that you got. <laughs> red beard over here, you know. <laughs> I wish my dad would see me now, because <laughs> over Christmas he was all about. Yeah. Oh, you don't look professional. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure the sideburns are all cleaned up, tied into the beard. It's my favorite scent, man, is this old Moni scent. So I'm gonna <laughs> throw it on you, all right? That's good. Do got a lot of beard, so I'll do about a couple dabs of some oil. Mm -hmm. Real classic oak leather type beat. I got all my shower products are old money now. <laughs> I shampoo, condition, body wash, and style my hair in old money. And that's what it's one of the things I like about beer brand is you can match your scent, you mm -hmm. know, through the through your whole routine. And never knew how much I needed that until I that stays for long. Until I got it, yeah. And then I'll throw some utility bombs just to give a little more hold and a little more uh, shine and nourishment to that beard. It's a pretty all-around product, you know. Like I said, I was using it to moisturize my hands. And so retain the length through the beard, neaten it up. Just gonna do a quick heat and a comb real quick, spread these oils around. All right, man, I like it. I think it's a uh, Mateo, but just refined a little bit. Yeah. You know? Mateo, but trimmed up. This is the look. Now I gotta you know, keep on growing it. But make him fashion. <laughs> That man, a lot of that length is oh, now no. gone. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at this. Well, that's, hold on. <laughs> that's insane. What's up, my friends? It's Jesse here at the Beer Brand Barbershop in Austin, Texas, with my homie Evan, and we're ready to chop off all his hair. Uh, so, what do you think about doing today, man? Uh, skin fade? Yeah, I think if just go back to skin fade. Um, yeah. I don't know. I've been doing the, the quarantine hair. So. Yeah, for what, how long has it been? About it's, a year? Yeah, it's been a little over a year now. And, was uh, the last cut a skin fade? Yeah, last so cut was a skin fade. So it's growing out from Yeah, natural. it's been all crazy. And it, you know, so. looked good. Got the blonde John Wick yeah, going it's, uh, on. The blonde, the bl yeah. blonde Wick. Yeah. Blonde Wick. <laughs> but no, it looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's been all right. I've been trying to do the man bun thing, and it was yeah. just like, and I don't it's know. It's like, dude, I, I feel you, man. Shorter I think it's is the uh, way to go. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I might grow up my hair, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I keep it under hat anyways. Yeah. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna rock it. And then, you know, now that barbershops are open and stuff, you know, you're able to totally. keep up with the cut again, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're able to, to go back on the, on the path of, uh, yeah. of, the short, of the short fade. All right, man, and on top, just, you know, like, like pretty, I mean, you showed me like a finger length photo, but yeah. I'm a little slightly longer than that, yeah, a little more fun. style, a little more, you know? Yeah, totally. So basically, the blend's get a, Go up high and around the around the corner of his head. We're not gonna have too much of a shelf. It was totally just quarantine. I mean, this is my first haircut since then, and I've never my hair's never been this long in my life. So this is it. Good enough hair texture to where I can knock the bulk down just like this instead of having to go in and clipper over comb it out of the way. For I mean, you could do it however you want, but for me, it's, this is more satisfying. So I, I'm having all the fun here. 
I got my three blade on right now because that's that's the biggest detachable blade I have and it's pretty safe for blending like this is all jagged here now it'll be refined later so I'm just going in with my free my three blade to set the foundation because we are going to go down to skin um, so I could ride this uh, three blade right off the parietal and it's still going to go shorter than that so with clipper over comb and scissor over comb and before quarantine I was getting skin fades I had a I had a guy back home and I was going every couple of weeks, honestly, to get it cleaned up. Jesse, what are you doing now? I'm um, refilling the water. <laughs> what you do is uh, you uh, unscrew the cap and put the water in the bottle and then screw the cap back on. I'm just going to comb the hair into where it wants to go. And when the hair does get shorter, uh, I'm going to hit him with a hot towel because I deal with these transformations. You know, ideally, uh, have a shampoo bowl, massage the scalp, Get the, get the part out of there because the hair is so long, you know, the, the, the follicles kind of pointed that way and the hair got trained to kind of face outwards. Yeah. But you know, his, his hair, the shorter now, he doesn't do that. And it only, it only takes like one shower. It's not like, you know, one, one year of a middle part and you can yeah. really undo that with a haircut in the shower and then the middle part would be gone. Yeah, my hair's so thin too. It's like, when I grew it out, it's just straight, you know, mm. so you have to figure out how to yeah. keep pushing off your head or whatever, yeah. I'm knocking off this uh, bulk on this ridge right here, just getting that blend um, to where I don't have to really do much to it later. I do, I'm going to clip over comb everything I do, like this whole ridge, but with the detachable blade, the way it's shaped, I can really just rock it off and get most of that work done. And I have my two blade on, and uh, pros of using detachables is it just takes the guesswork out of an adjustable lever. Like I know right under my three, it's gonna sit, it's gonna blend right there and you're using the shape of the head. Checking to see if the, the blade is if the blade is hot and the Oster logo on the side of your head. So you'll step down to one and a half. I was trying to go every three, four days before I did shampoo conditioner because it just gets so like just loose and light. But yeah, I mean, I was just kind of styling it a little bit. I have like a, I actually have like a sea salt spray thing that I was trying mm. to do on it. Nah, I put my finger on it, man. I was like, Evan looks familiar, man. He looks like a, like a blonde Cillian Murphy. Listen, I live in Germany, man. And this like, this mom goes, excuse me, sir, like an American lady. And she's like, excuse me, sir, I mean, can we take a picture with you? You know, and send it to my daughter, like, Okay. You look just like Leonardo DiCaprio. No. <laughs> no. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. Let's see, do the eyes. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. <laughs> and I also am gonna be tedious with this part of the fade. With how blonde his hair is, I'm almost operating like in the dark. Like, I could put that bald line in, and from the bald line to that short hair, it almost looks blended already. Like, but I know there's a huge gap between. That's, yeah, that's what everybody know. says when they cut my hair. They're yeah. Like, you gotta look at it like five times. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna do your normal flick out and close the lever as we approach that zero line I made. I'm working right above the zero blend. So the half card just keeps me a little safe. And I could rake that. I'm not, uh, when I fade, depending on the hair, I can do guard, surgical precision, guidelines. Um, you can you can do that, um, but I'm not. Typically, don't go that way. I typically, you know, use the same process, but I don't put in super hard guidelines a lot. If you don't put in guidelines, you don't have to take them out. down with the shaver so you don't leave any super hard lines. That's how you blend it with the shaver right there. You go up, you, I mean, you put hard lines going up, but then you can take, take the lines out, knocking them down. So now this is, you know, clipper over comb action. Where we're really gonna rein in this ridge. And make this refined.
And the reason why blends like this need so much attention, because when you're doing a shorter blend, you run the risk of, of the short hairs popping out. I might start cutting 90 degrees from the front of the forehead if I want to add more texture and more, uh, yeah, more texture up front. But we'll we'll see. We'll see after I get it cut down. I'm gonna slightly shape it and drop the length towards the back of the head. And that's just done by angling my fingers. Let's see how it's all sticking up here. That's the, that's that middle part giving us that trouble that I, I told you, you know, it would give us. All right, now I'm going <clears> to <throat> dampen the hair more than it is. And just to help me out, I'm going to hit him with a hot towel. You know, that's part of the process, part of these, you know, transformations. It's going to be fine, right? Yeah. Just, just, uh, no It's really hot right now. Kind of. Oh. So you just, you know, give them a little massage. <laughs> massage those follicles. Massage the scalp. Kind of remind it, you know, put it in its place. You know, just remind it, hey man, you go forward, not to the side. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> dude, I feel yeah. great. Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't really looked, but yeah, I feel good. Yeah. So no, dude, I think you, you won't actually look till you get home. Yeah, uh, right, I know. I don't, I keep my clients so faced away from the Yeah, yeah right, exactly, um, yeah. But see, look, you already see how that, that hot towel trick, a little bit of heat yeah. with the blow dryer, and then, uh, you know, I'm still, you know, banged still a little too long. I still have to blend these corners in and then refine this blend. And after you dry it, you kind of see, you see more things. After you blow dry it, I usually, uh, I could have point cutted the whole uh, cut and the texture would basically already be in there. Okay. But I like doing, doing a little more custom than that. Um, so I'll start my texture when I, blend, when I do these corners. So now, now I'm point cutting, now I'm switching over. So I am gonna, I am tightening up the bangs right now. I will cut 90 degrees from the front. Uh, so I'm putting in almost, this is not exactly zero elevation. Um, what this does, you'll see it here after I finish trimming down these guys. So I cut the top 90 degrees up. I mean, I'm doing zero elevation right now. Nabbing these corners. And then when I pull the hair 90 degrees between the two, you'll see your guide, and that's where you uh, that's where you cut, and I'll just get a nice layered. Layered front, you know, easy, you know, salt spray, whatever. And now. Now when I lift up here, you have your guide. 
And so now it's not super flat and uh, just hanging straight in his face. It's broken up with a nice texture. Scissor over comb, really, really uh, smooth out this ridge here. So what's your typical uh, scent? What, what kind of, do you work cologne? Yeah. What kind of cologne do you wear? Uh, it's, uh, it's Dior. It's okay. The Savag or okay. the... So a little bit crispy, but yeah. also is it like, it's a, one of the man ones? Yeah. So a little bit crispy, a little musky. Yeah. A little right in the middle of, yeah. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's subtle. Then I already know, like, you know, you'd go for our gold line scents. Yeah, probably four vices. I mean, what are your vices now, man? What are you? <laughs> but I mean, do you like uh, coffee, yeah. tobacco, cannabis, and hops? Yeah. <laughs> that covers it, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna, you know, edge them up. Because we're basically there. So now we have a smooth blend that's short and not sticking out. Just gonna do a little more bashing over here. When in doubt, bash it out. Take your blenders and just slap it away until it looks good. It's like a joke in barbering, but it's not a joke because it because it works. I mean, I could just do this all day until it, something comes. You know, until something, until it looks like a haircut. Um, so Evan, how's it feeling, man? How's the, how's the hair feeling? It feels amazing. Awesome. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good summer cut. It's getting hotter. Yeah. So. Easy to maintain. Yeah. Um, in ways, li literally easy to style. Totally, yeah. And literally, if you want to come back in two weeks, it would be worth it. If yeah. you want to come back in six weeks, that's okay. Totally. So okay. it's a li it's literally relaxed in like all sense of a haircut like this. Yeah. Um, because it can grow out, the fade can grow out, the top can get a little more messy, and you'll just start end up pushing it. Like right now it's cool forward. Right. Yeah. If you let it go five weeks, it'll, you'll just be tossing it over to the side totally. once it starts approaching the, the eyebrows a little bit. I didn't get my... I think get these puppies sharpened, so yeah, they're not they're not sliding like they used to. That's why they, that's why the slide didn't look so confident because I don't I want to keep them comfortable on it. I was probably pulling tugging them a little bit, but and now I'm just gonna do a little bit of medium to deep point cutting right down the center because I point cut the corners already when I was uh, blending when I was tying the top and, and the side. Um, we're going to hit it with some sea salt spray. Mm -hmm. See, even now you still, you still have this little split with the, with the middle part. But, you know, as soon as you shower, it'll be a lot more directional uh, forward. But we did, you know, alleviate a lot of that. And so now I'm gonna go in and refine with a good, a good amount of a styling balm. I'm gonna just kind of lightly apply it. I'm not, I have a lot on my hands, but I'm not really rubbing it into your hair. Mm. I'm just kind of setting it into your hair. See, something like that is what we, we could work for. I mean, how's it looking to you? Is that, is that too long or is that enough yeah, uh, play or? I don't know. I think, I think like what you're saying with it just sticking up, I don't know. I'd probably yeah. just kind of push it forward. Yeah, push it forward. Okay, more, you know, push like, it forward. Then, like, I mean, but like, yeah, it's, it's I the mean, right length. That's where we're going. We're going for uh, the, the messy look and if that's yeah. the right length for you. That's it. Yeah. Um, like the sides. In, in, yeah, in terms great. of, yeah. let, me, let me get the mirror for you. Looking good, man. That's how it used to be. <laughs> Feels good to be back, honestly. It's crazy. Awesome, man. Yeah.
And then, man, here's a sound bomb for you. And then you just, uh, you know, just mess it through the hair, and then it, it'll be a pretty good all-purpose, you know, product for you for the texture and to once it gets longer. But yeah, welcome to Austin, my friend. I've been growing it out as most mm. people have during quarantine. Yeah. And especially in the back, it just needs a little more shaping because it's uh -huh. kind of starting to uh, yeah. butterfly out a little bit. Yeah. I'm starting to feel like a rock star. Yeah. Um, so just want a little more control there. Cool, man. So what we'll do is uh, cut the sides and grow the back out into a mullet, and uh, <laughs> then you'll really be then you'll really be a rock star. <laughs> okay, um, perfect. What's up, y'all? I'm Jesse here at the Beard Brand Barbershop in Austin, yeah. Texas. Here with my friend Jeremy. I'm gonna trim his curls and do a beard trim today, and get them all cleaned up. All right, Jeremy, remind me what we're doing today on your hair, man. Cool, yeah, so um, just really trying to get into a little more control. Uh, I mm -hmm. guess as much control as you can with yeah. curls. Yeah. Um, still want to uh, have them do their thing, but um, just a little more shape to it. Yeah, so mm -hmm. are you liking this right now? What's going on up here? You just want more shape around the perimeter? More around shape the... around the perimeter, okay. and, and I, I wouldn't mind more off trend. on top oh, too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, maybe I would say an inch uh, at the max, but yeah. I mean. All right, an was... inch will bring that in. So we'll do an inch off the top. We do a little more off the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, kind of, I'll do sheer work all around. Um, taper in the sides a little bit above the ear. Probably won't be completely off the ear, but it will be shaped a little better. And I'll, I'll clean up the back. I'm not like a crazy fade or anything, but I'll shorten up the back so it has sure. a nice shape and a taper out on the neckline. Yeah, that's and good. And then um, on the beard, man, what are we thinking about doing to the beard? Um, I would say for you, dealer's choice. Just make yeah. it look like clean make it, it look. Up. Yeah, clean it up. Tie I know the neckline needs yeah. some work. The mustache yeah. a little bit too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would, you know, you're, you're the expert, do your thing. Oh, sounds good, man. Yeah, this has been a long process of yeah. getting the, the curls to a point where I could figure them out. In high school, I had, had a lot of hair like this, but I always combed it and brushed it, and it yeah. quite literally froed. And, and, and I just didn't understand, uh, I guess, grooming, uh -huh. you know? I mean, a high school kid, I, you know, wasn't really a priority. Yeah. Um, but as I've gotten older and a little more confident in the hair, you know, I've kind of just wanted to let it do its thing. Exactly. Now I'm glad you embraced your curls. A lot of people, grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah. I get, I get um, curly hair dudes, oh, I wish my hair was straight. And get straight hair guys, I wish my hair was curly. What I'm doing with the cut is just a basic balanced cut. Traveling guy down the center, and then uh, matching that guy to the left and right. We'll go around the corners and down the side. And then I'll taper in the sides a little bit with some angling of the sheer work. Okay. But that's like a misconception with curly hair. Um, don't overthink it. For the barbers uh, out there, yeah. don't overthink it. It's a balanced cut. That's all it is. How did you start figuring out your curls could do stuff like this? Uh, I got a wife. <laughs> <laughs> she started uh, Googling things too much. Yeah. You know, she's, she saw my pictures of kind of growing up and what it would look like and the fact that it could but I never really put the time into understanding it. You know, I mean, I buzzed my hair for years and years and years just because I didn't want to mess with it. Um, but as I guess getting older and getting more confident in the hair and exactly. um, embracing it, you know, kind of be more natural. Some product education, learning about what your hair likes. I pretty much shower every morning so I could get the curls hydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and then by the afternoon, they're dry again. Mm -hmm. And you could tell they, they need something. Yeah. Um, so normally spraying some type of like hydrating mist yeah. or something like that. But what I've learned more than anything is just keep them more like keep them yeah. hydrated. Yeah. Don't get too wet. fizzy out of, out of control. Yeah. And I shampoo once a week. Yeah. Um, I just really do condition. You know. Mostly condition. Every day. Yeah. And that's that's uh, people find out what works for them. Mm -hmm. uh, people you know they'll hear that oh one, once a week that sounds crazy but no you know you're keeping the natural oils in your hair. Um, Got it. You don't want to wash all that stuff out, and that stuff helps your curls. Hmm. So now with the hair, to make it through curls, you just have to trust the process, follow your guides. A lot of basic rules of barbering. If you don't see your guide, don't cut, things like that. So that's what I'm doing now. Now what I'm doing is kind of going up into the sides instead of down, because I'm, I'm going to take a lot of this uh, weight here in the back out 
um, taper that up. Pretty clipper over comb. Pretty uh, pretty standard. And then we'll just give them some clean lines. And and once everything's all said and done, I think the curls are gonna have a nice nicer shape to them. And you know, unless I make anything or forget like a chunk of hair. Honestly, you know, curls hide a lot. So if this wasn't on point, maybe you'd notice, maybe you wouldn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the, the, the key is here to make sure everything is on point so you, you have an, a nice overall shape. Because um, you can mess up curls really bad and it'll show, or sometimes curls hide those mistakes, honestly. Mm -hmm. And that might be a shortcut a lot of barbers, maybe they aren't comfortable. With the curls, they might just go at it real quick and say, okay, it's, it's, it's fixed, it's better, I cut your hair, but really, not mm -hmm. really. We all wish we were a little bit taller, right? Maybe you do, <laughs> maybe you do. <laughs> maybe you do, Bob. I think I'm tall enough. Yeah, I make up for my shortness in uh, pure personality and good looks. <laughs> I actually have to tell people I'm shorter than I am because they don't believe that this is six feet. Hmm. Then I'm like, I'm hey, you, have, you have an odd shaped body. So <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see uh, like, like, uh, black, like technically, I mean, technically, <laughs> I'm six one. No one can believe that, so I have to tell people I'm six feet. Like I said, I'm, I'm only 5'4", but I have like a personality. That's not true. With, uh, oh, are you really only 5'4"? No, that's a trick. You tell people you're uh, a little shorter, and you're like, you know, you're way taller than that. Yeah, that's and your self-esteem boosted. <laughs> yeah. That's outsider trick. <laughs> I, got one, I got three words for you, man. Amazon drop shipping, dude. Are you, are you getting into the game? <laughs> Return on investment, man. That's what you guys need to focus on. Y'all worried about your Fruit Loops and Cheerios, man, but you're not really worried about the big greenbacks. <laughs> I, I sound like I, I sound like I've been doing this for. I sound like I've been doing this for a while, huh? Yeah, man. Too many TikToks to the brain. That's what it is, dude. That's this guy on TikTok that makes videos like that. Too many TikToks. You know, doing the TikToks. And your breath still stinks. So I'm gonna grab my clippers here, my JRLs, man. These things go through anything. And this is all gonna come off. I'm gonna taper this back here. Yeah, I can feel the weight coming off. Yeah. Because we don't need the mullet. Uh -uh. He opted out for the mullet today, but we'll yeah. get him next time. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I've he got said a few no. buddies that, uh, that might. Yeah. They're gonna go for the mullet or what? It's becoming actually popular again, huh? Yeah, like I said, yeah. all last year I rocked it, man, so. Wow, Beard Band's doing it, man. We're bringing it back. Wow. I think we put up like five, really? six videos. People really? Getting molds, yeah. Wow. We put up a lot. So they actually want it to look good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, good mullets. Like, that's <laughs> the thing. Like, good mullets are a thing. Crispy fade. Like the modern mullet. Yeah. The, like, I guess like more business or I don't know what you call it. Like more business in the front? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stock trader in the front, party animal in the back. <laughs> Definitely have to pay attention to his back here, trying to taper it out. But I'm, of course I'm finding hair is going in a lot of different directions underneath, so it takes a little more detail than the typical neck taper to make sure all those growth patterns are tended to. It's finally coming together. Uh, Clippers was just like for that speed and like that bulk work. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll go here in detail. I got um, you. With the shears and possibly even with the razor to kind of just lay this, the back of the hair down a little bit and just add shape. See, we have growth pattern completely to the side, to the right here. So I'm definitely Going with that, keeping that in mind. So I'm just dropping down sections here, taking weight out, shaping the ends of the hair. Now you can see, it's still popping out, the curls are popping out, and once 
it dries up, obviously it's going to be more curly, but you see how much that razor kind of smoothed out that neckline there. And I'm just refining the shape. Mm -hmm. Everything all around the hair is pretty cut down to size. Getting back here behind the ears. Shortening that up just a little bit. I love Zach Efron, bro. He really came into his own, man, the past couple of years. <laughs> yeah, down to earth, yeah, fantastic. It's sweet. His hot ones, fantastic. <laughs> that got me to buy a Brita water filter. <laughs> We're talking about like drinking clean water. Yeah. Oh, I even use a Brita. He's such a funny dude. So glad he's in comedy now. I drink, I drink straight from the water hose, man. I actually have one installed in the kitchen just so I can feel like an old school. <laughs> so you feel like you're at home? <laughs> That's right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got the cape on, so I'm gonna go ahead with the sitting your head back, doing the beard trim, kind of giving you a a, a neckline. Mm -hmm. On the, we'll refine that, and then kind of maybe uh, we'll pay attention to the detail sideburns here, okay. um, and then lay you back, do some razor work, sharpen up the edges. Cool. Up pretty high up underneath the chin. I start in the center, I was taught to start in the center. A lot of people don't. Since we're not growing it out too long, I'm going to refine these corners a little bit. If we were going longer, I'd probably leave a more natural look. But I'll sharpen you up a bit here. I'm just doing a slight fade in between the sideburn and the beard because when that part grows in, that tends to get pretty unruly. So that'll just add a little bit more longevity on that. For me, it's more practical than, than, it, than it is style of this kind of faded sideburn, faded beard. For me, it's like a practical standpoint of like, that's a pretty, you know, your sideburns get annoying. That's like the first thing you know, when your hair starts growing out, you're like, oh man, my hair, you know, it's getting so long. So it just adds a little bit of longevity on that. Oh, I see what you're saying.
those famous hands. Those dainty hands. This is some of our Tree Ranger utility bomb. It's a nice moisturizer for after the shave. <laughs> smells good. And to go through the beard. It smells really good. Yeah, that's one of my favorite scents. I like the more woodsy kind of scents when it comes to things like that. Yeah, it smells really good. Let's see, I'll show you in the back real quick. Oh, the yeah, back yeah, tapered great. out, great. cleaned up, and then you'll have that shape around the sides now. Yeah, and it should be, it's just tapered in slightly shorter than the top, and however you want to style it, it'll kind of yeah. behave better than what it has been doing for you. So that's what I used on you. Oh, um, so cool. that'll, as, as that stubble grows out in between beard trims, it's almost kind of acting like a beard oil. It'll kind of help moisturize that skin and you can use it all over your uh, hands, arms as well. It's just awesome. a moisturizer, man, all right? Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, you nice have a good one, man. Um, it's probably getting closer to a year and a half. I'm turning 45 here on Friday. I figured I wanted to, you know, just Perfect. be cleaned up for that. What's up, my YouTube homies? We're here at the Beer Brand Barbershop in Austin, Texas with my friend Micah, and we're gonna clean them up today. What's the goal? Like, what's uh, the goal with the hair and the beard? Like, what's uh, what's some any looks you're interested in, or what you want to achieve with everything? Like, in terms of getting it trimmed down and the haircut. So, on the sideburns area, I like to yeah. bring that down a lot. Maybe yeah, like a number two or yeah, something. Yeah, where shave it fades that down. In. Yeah. Um, shorten up on the hair a lot. Uh -huh. I do want to keep a bit of a part, but I really yeah. want to go a lot shorter. Uh -huh. um, it's got a few months growth on it, way yeah. too much. So something like a, little, like a gentleman's taper, a little bit tighter though, like yeah. almost a fade. Yeah. Um, all right, cool, man. And then on the beard itself, I want to bring that off of the neck a bit because it just kind of pushes out yeah. more than I like. I don't like it where it becomes rounded like it is, uh -huh. but a lot more where it's down. Um, and creates mm. kind of a line down my jaw. Okay, yeah. Straight across on the bottom, so it's a lot yeah. tighter. Yeah, a lot tighter, a lot more shaped up and sculpted and, and rather than loose and round. You want almost a square, but keeping as much as the length Yeah, as trying possible. to lose a little bit of the, the shaggy look, much more Do you want to go it. any shorter on the beard? It could go a little bit yeah, shorter, just, just to, depending on how it cuts for in. For the sake of wanna, shape, yeah. Yeah, um, but I think. I like how it elongates my head a bit that yeah. way because I have a bit rounder head. Yeah. Yeah. Flat, so. Awesome, man. Perfect. Then uh, we'll get into it for you. All and right. We'll clean you up. <laughs> just going to take my blades and just go down. I'm going to start start with a three and a half up top, taper out the back all the way to skin as usual um, with, you know, classic haircuts. And then uh, just trim the top a little bit. Just add a little more flow. Are you uh, low maintenance for the hair or do you mind, do you want to style it? Do you not mind styling it or at least finding the part in the morning and getting out the house or? Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Okay. Just find the part, get it over a little bit, keep it a little bit messy. Okay. Um, and yeah. All right. We'll retain some length then. I won't, I won't chop it all down, but yeah, the sides are gonna go. How long have you been growing out the beard, man? Uh, let's see, I think I started around the end of September of 2019. Okay. So I was just gonna grow it out a little bit. I normally keep a stubble. Yeah. And uh, then, you know, November hit, it's November. It's like, all right, I'll keep it. And it just kind of stuck with me a bit. COVID mm -hmm. hit and all yeah. of a sudden I was like, well, 
let's just throw it out and see what a year looks like. Mm -hmm. I actually left school early because okay. it was the late 90s and uh -huh. jobs in tech were easy to get, even without a degree. Yeah. And so got a job offer, left school, started working. And then I went back in my early 40s, about uh, five, four years ago, five mm -hmm. years ago and finished up my degree in IT security nice. and then picked up an MBA after that. It's really intertwined in every aspect of our lives. Yeah. Where even people that are fairly technically illiterate uh -huh. are very literate compared to what people were 20 years ago. Yeah. So in, the, in terms of the beard, man, are you uh, trying to just grow that out like as long as you can? Or you kind of like where it's at once we groom it, it's kind of just going to stay where it is. Yeah, I think I've really reached the point where I'm happy with it lengthwise. Okay. I mean, you can always just keep growing it longer and longer, but it becomes harder to manage. And right. I'm not sure I'm really looking for that. Right. So now I got my two blade, which fits right underneath the three and a half. Okay. And that's just gonna start the blend. It's gonna start to taper all the way down and get him all cleaned up. Barbers, if you're not using detachable clippers, man, go pick some up. It's super easy. It almost feels like cheating sometimes with this, with the blade system, because there's no guesswork, there's no lever, there's no. The blades just perfectly talk to each other, and you get a really nice blend. Especially for haircuts like this. For plastic haircuts, plastic tools, plastic techniques tend to work the best. For me, personally, I mean, I, I can do the same haircut with bards. It doesn't matter. I'll step down to one and a half. So now I got my one A on. I stopped uh, with the one and a half around every everywhere else because for the sake of, sake of blending the beer, I'm gonna just stop at a one and a half which is pretty short as you can see. So now I'm just gonna keep stepping down my blades on the neck here until we get tapered down the skin. Then I'll work my way back up, clipper over comb, that bulk up right off the ridge there. Edge them up. And as you can see, the taper is basically done. Thanks to those blades but I'll just make sure this is clean. Just gonna dampen the hair a little bit so I can see exactly what's hanging over the ridge here with his parietal ridge. Now let's knock this bulk out. Ridge is still pretty dark and dense, but I'm gonna go ahead and carry on with my shear work and then we'll see what it looks like after my shear work. Yeah, I use a beard softener a bit with it, and yeah. then just the beard oil and combing it on a daily basis down. Yep. Really been able to give it a good shape. Oh, I actually started using the old money one. You guys oh, yeah. Got a really nice scent. During the consultation, he used words like messy and things like that, so we're definitely going to retain a little bit of length. Still give him a good chop, but not as perfectly sculpted as maybe one would do with this hair. Just start in the back for this one. And kind of approach the front at the angle that I want. Because I saw the front was a little shorter actually than the center of the head and I want to reverse that. I want the front to be the longest part. <laughs> Just gonna shape up the back with a razor real quick. So uh, whether he puts effort into his hair or not, it'll just 
flow. Now, once we uh, move on to the beard here, man, we're gonna be a new yeah. man. <laughs> gotta make the beard fit with it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, we're yeah, we're going it. straight down, give you a jawline again. I forgot to mention the mustache part. I yeah. like to go over the lip on it, basically. Okay. Take it off the lip or keep it keep it over the lip? No, off the lip. Okay, okay. And then kind of fix up the catfish whiskering all stuff. Because right. then they're eating something and all of a sudden you find you're chewing on hair. So yeah, gotta, that's me. I'm growing out the mustache right now, so then I'm choosing that life, but whatever. Yeah, I did that for a while, <laughs> but you really got to train it to go over to the side. Yeah. So it's getting in your coffee all the time. It's kind of yeah. a challenge. I'm being very conservative at first, just to start to see the shape, but he does want more of a generous trim on the sides to really taper in and set in a nice jawline into the beard. Neck is great. Not too much craziness going on under the hood here. Yeah, I kind of try to keep it a little bit yeah. trimmed. I do like to take it off the neck and get rid yeah. of it kind of, because it pushes it out. Yeah. And that. A little too much. Yeah, it gives like. Yeah, it's finding the balance. Sometimes there's undergrowth that I tell guys we're just going to leave it how it is. It's working for you. Sometimes, yeah, it's a little more in between. I feel like in general I've got enough thickness in my beard I don't yeah. really need it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm just cutting off the bottom there. When I try to clean that up, it normally involves just taking the, uh, the razor and pushing it straight up until mm -hmm. it stops. It's like, oh, that's enough of my <laughs> yeah. neck and the start of my chin. Yeah. We're doing now is giving him a jawline back reflected in the beard which is what he asked for All I'm doing now is just going a little more dramatic with the taper on his cheeks because hair on your cheeks was just so poof, poofed out, you know, the tapering the sideburns wasn't enough. So now I just have to, just shaping it in a little more and we're, we're I mean, as you see, man, almost about to be there after a little more shaping up. Got my clipper blade open, just now gliding the surface, getting any flyaways, and just dialing in that shape.
curiosity or business because of that. But when I so many humans out there right now, uh, you know, it looks good. Right, what do you think of the shape, man? What do you think of the shape so far before I put in something? Do you want to rein it in a little bit? Once we straighten it out and everything. Okay, yeah, because I like straight lines. Okay. So you want it more? Do you want it a little more dramatic than it is? Um, what do you mean by dramatic? I mean just what it is now, but more, if that makes sense. Like, do you want me to just go in a little bit closer on these lines? Yeah. Okay. The tufts here I definitely want to get rid of. Okay. Okay, cool. Then let me... Uh, let me knock that for you real quick, man. You just have to go a little bit tighter just to achieve those lines. Cool, cool, cool. You're really happy with how it's all come together. Yes, sir. Yeah, the real test would be what my girlfriend thinks of it, Terry. She, uh, she always says, you know, when I met you, you only had a little bit of scruff. You didn't have this. But she's been a good sport about it, and so I'm trying to keep it a little yeah. cleaned up. She's got some big surprise plans for us that afternoon. Right. Yeah. Have you used any other of our scents before? If it wasn't old money, what would you use? I say that because we don't have old money right now. <laughs> I just bought something like uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. So, uh, uh, is that the first scent you've tried from us? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I was thought about Temple Smoke also. Right. Right. So which kind of product are you gonna put on there? I'm gonna use the utility balm. Okay. Just for the, mainly for the skin. I'm gonna run a little to your beard. But just to soften up the skin after that shave, you know? Okay. Yeah, I was curious if I should just be using the oil or if I should be using more. Yeah. Well, it depends on which, if you're looking for a little bit of hold and more groom, mm -hmm. the balm. You know, the, uh, the balm's gonna moisturize down to the skin and a little bit on the hair. Beard oil, just think beard oil, strictly hair. Okay. It does help, it does nurse the skin a little bit. But the utility balm, pretty versatile. Pretty, uh, you know, good for the skin, for the beard, hands, what have you, any dry areas. Okay, and that's the temple smoke you're going with? Yeah, right? okay. yeah, that's what you're smelling pretty right good. now. Shave up the neck, and I'll throw a little bit of the Temple Smoke Styling Balm through the dome. I put in the Styling Balm. I already have blow dried his hair right after I cut it, so it already has like a loose uh, shape to it. And all the Styling Balm is, does is just, you know, softly lock that into place. We'll send uh, Michael home here with some Temple Smoke goods. Oh, okay. You'll get both, man. You'll get the styling balm and the utility balm. So use that in the beard. Use that everywhere, man. Head to toe, really. Um, no good. You can get away with it use, as a solid cologne. I did that with Old Money Utility Balm before I uh, <laughs> got the actual 
EDP from them. This try will be good. Try out the selling bomb, man. And yeah. then you got the old money stuff on the way, but now you got the, the option to choose between the two. All so, right, sounds good. Thanks. thanks a lot, Micah. Yeah, appreciate it. Of course, yeah, remember what you did, because I'll probably be back. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. And be like, I yeah. just want what you did last time. <laughs> I like those shoes. Thanks, man. Those are cool. Get some close-ups, man. Ooh. Yes. Asics of the day, sneakers <laughs> of the day. I'm a dad now, man. I stay in sneakers. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. It's your boy, Jesse, with my boy, Ian, and we're going to clean him up today. Ooh, simple, beautiful. <laughs> wow, that's juicy. So what are we doing today, Ian? Doing like classic, man? Classic, All clean right. it up. Clean up the taper. Yeah. Keep the top nice and long, trim it. I know it's been about what since December or something, yeah. right? Yeah. I know. We, I did. I came back. I mean, you came in for a little lineup, yeah, but that wasn't trim. much. So what I'm doing first is just gonna section off the top of the hair off the sides. The sides we do a medium length taper. Um, I'm gonna do mostly clipper over comb. This is similar to the last haircut I did on the channel, a 90s curtain style. So it's gonna be disconnected but what we're doing is a much longer version um, of that, which is makes it a different haircut entirely, just being a few inches longer because I use completely different techniques to clean up the sides and top and everything, but you will see it all come together. I should section this, you know, section gods would get mad at me, but it tapers all and blends in the back anyways. So I'm not gonna get this out of the way because that's gonna come off regardless because um, we're over directing and cutting towards the back, letting everything fall to the front. Cutting off patrols at the pass. I know. Not giving them a chance. <laughs> so, like, should we, should, I mean, technically, you know, we're not section God, man. We do enough. So now I just go. Just get rid of this bulk first. You can start from a baseline and work up to it. You can start from the bottom and go up to the baseline, clipper over comb, you know, you just gotta make sure you match the guides up because all you're doing is creating the taper and that's done with different elevations of the comb. So I got rid of a lot of bulk, setting in a baseline. And when you lift, you see your guide, so you know where to cut. And then now you just work up to that line. And then it creates a taper, which we're going to refine with the razor later as well. So the way Ian's haircut works, it's a real loose taper around the sides, just off the ears. We keep it full and then uh, nothing too tight except for the perimeter. And then we tie in the top to that and keep that the top relatively long, give him the option to slick it back or wear it forward, but I know Ian stays chill, doesn't, it's not wearing Whatever. many, many a tuxedo goes. events, yeah. you know, where he needs to be dapper, but not yet. he got the hair for it, so I'm gonna <laughs> cut him that way. And I take my time with the taper on the neck, just cause this is where I start the haircut. I take this taper and bring it out towards the front on both sides. So you see your guide and then you see the hair you need to cut. You could do this with trimmers, scissors. It's all the same, man. Some people will disagree, but it's already what's in my hand. And now when that lays back down, you're tapered up and you're tapered in from that, from that hairline. I'll go clear the rest of this. So now you're seeing this neck taper start to take shape, and that's probably be about the shortest we go around the whole haircut. Um, just to keep with the style of Ian's hair, he gets a medium length and then comes to me every about two months. He doesn't mind it getting on the longer side before he has to come in, so. And now that over direction rule applies to that same front hairline. And if Ian's hair was any thinner, I'd be using shears on this whole cut, but why 
you know, waste that energy and make my hands exhausted. And the Clippers will do the same thing because he's got a lot of hair. Around the ear always gets tricky and I'm picky with it, so I take my time with making sure it's got a nice flow. And then when you do this process, this over direction process, you want to take your time because if you move all the hair forward at once and chop a straight line, it's not going to give that same tapered effect. The razor just adds texture in a good way, like a directional flow, and smooths out the layers from tapering. Because tapering is just creating layers with elevation, and this kind of smooths them out. And I'll go down here to the neckline and just taper the neckline with the razor. <laughs> Combs. It just combs a little nicer, man. Just a little more detail. So now we've built the taper around the sides and back. Now move to the top. Real quick, just so I'm not leaving super hard lines with the clippers. Just go in. Clean it up with my shears. Match it to that baseline. You just find your corners. You just find anything sticking out. Probably end up styling this into a pompadour kind of look today. A really long trim pompadour, but we're no posers here, man. Ian doesn't even wear his hair like that. I just like the way it looks, man. But Ian lets me style like that anyways. <laughs> it's been about a little over two, two and a half months, so and we're a little overdue. Go for just about inch and a quarter, inch and a half. We're just doing a balance cut right now. Balance cut off the top and then tie it to the sides in a few different ways. But other than that, I have people ask me, man, what are you doing to the top of the head? Balance cut, dude, like everybody learned the first week of school. And my corners is point cutting for extra texture. Since this hair's on the longer side, a lot of texture helps, and you need a lot of texture because this hair is heavy when it's this long. So just doing a, a little bit of texture won't do anything. You won't be able to see anything. Thank you, Chris. I'm just getting at his corners with some point cutting here. Tying the uh, 
top to the sides as it lays back. I'm not gonna pull straight off here and cut that. That stays long. I will take a little bit of this corner. And just touch that up. First thing I always do when I'm finishing up with my detail work, I double down on the back of the head here, man. I got, I make, I'm picky with it. I make sure it looks right. So I'll razor it so it, the taper lasts a little longer. The razor will just hold, help hold those sides back and just adds a good texture, man. We'll, you'll see in a little bit when we're done here. Does it help with the flow? It helps with the flow, man. Nice and feathery goodness. Like, we're, when the hair is damp and when I dry it off, you'll see it, but... It's like, uh, can you have signatures as a barber? Uh-huh. <laughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm uh, the crazy one because I like a little bit of ducktail action. Mm. Um, in the back, doesn't have to be there, but it's in there. Yes, it's in there without my clients knowing. They can throw it back three decades if they want, Ooh. and then just put a little product back there, and get some ducktail action. You know, nice. Know how it is. Okay. You know how it is. <laughs> a little Pharrell with the beads. <laughs> Let's see. Just do some more perimeter work. Make sure everything's nice and clean and. We'll throw some product in there, blow dry it back, and that's when all that texture will really pop. But you already kind of see it right there. It's got some nice feathers in there. Are we gonna call this the the duck cut? What did, what did you call it? <laughs> duck tail. That's the duck That's tail? a classic like texture. I mean, a lot of guys in the 80s and 90s, and even back to the 70s, uh, this would be it would be that blowout look. You know, that big blowout that kind of transformed into a mullet, and that whole thing would ducktail into itself. Um, so this is just about 1% of what it used to be back in the day. Just a little shout out to the good old days. Next time we'll do a mullet. Hey, do a mullet. Hey, please. My boy Ian pick man. What you what you thinking? Bro? What, you like, that one for me. Okay. Turn that one for me. Ooh, the second one. The second one, spice citrus. Yeah. Ooh wee. We're gonna put product in his hair. It's a perfect compliment. He's got beautiful hair. Only makes it better. I typically like to apply product before I blow dry. Um, sometimes I add a little more, but. I like the way it looks after a blow dry because it melts the product and gives it a little more natural look. And nourished if you ever want to put it back. I know you don't, but hey, even, even, <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put it back. No, 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 even, uh, even like just a little bit in the damp hair, just uh -huh. put it in the hair is real healthy for the hair, man. Um, so okay. even on the lazy days, put a little tag, a little tab bit in there. But awesome, right, man? Thank you. Thank you very much. Real work of art here. How with a little baby duck tail? Yeah. <laughs> he noticed it. <laughs>
What's up, YouTube? This is Jesse, not at the Beer Brown Barbershop. We're at Bar Bones in Austin, Texas with my friend Sarita, and she's gonna clean me up today. Today we're giving Jesse like a nice, pretty like skin tapered, bald tapered, uh, like more of a classic style, slick back and uh, we're gonna give him some length on the sides here, something he can kind of run his fingers through and still slick it back. But he does want like a real tight, like skin, uh, bald, sorry, I say it's skin, but bald taper <laughs> yeah, here. However, yeah. um, so um, we're gonna start by probably just taking down some of the bulk in the back, because back here he's got a lot of length, as you can see, he's got like a little tail. <laughs> so we're gonna knock this out, clipper over comb, and then that way I can kind of go in and see what, what we're doing. Um, so for, for, for now, I'm just going to kind of wet him down, really soak that hair so we can see what it actually does. And I'm just going to go with like no guard, you know what I mean, since we're going to be taking it down. I'm going to start by just over overcombing it. Is that pulling at all? No, not at all. I will say, I love wall clippers. They're like my go-to. I don't know, what do you use, Jesse? I use magic clips. Okay. I yeah, use, the I, magic I, clips are like yeah. the best. I have the metal magic clips. Those are pretty powerful. And uh, I use Oster Model 10s for detachable clippers. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, after getting the magic clips, that's really all I use. I'm glad I got a new pair of those. Yeah. Because. I use the, the plastic uh, casing and uh, magic clip. Yeah. So I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go in with the two blows, kind of knock it out. That way, you know, it out better. And Jesse's asking for like a really high, like bald kind of fade in the back. He wants yeah. it a little bit more. Yeah, I like, I like the way it was like unnaturally high on those photos yeah. and that, that just looks really Like cool it almost has like a, a really big contrast. It goes like yeah. dark to like really light in the back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got you. Take it out with a zero open. And then I kind of just curve it to his neckline a bit. Flick it out. So I'm just kind of, you know, going in and Tapering it out, I'm gonna go back in afterwards, obviously, and re-taper re it just to make sure. So I keep brushing his hair back to kind of see how it's laying, and I've separated the length and the sideburns because I'm gonna taper those out. So we're uh, tapering it, and I'm kind of like bringing it up and out because he wants that like, I don't even know what you would you would call it's that. It's like a heavier top okay. layer on, just yeah. sitting on top of that blend. Just like yeah, how it looks in that photo is just like yeah, just cool, you know. And I need and, and I need that weight on top to keep the hair right. down, anyways. So that's the reason why I'm kind of just bringing the clip over comb with no guard, just kind of flipping it up and out. Is that a metal comb? Mm-hmm. Right on. It's I mean, honestly, that's pretty nice because it's it's like cold against my against my skin, dude. Yeah, and your hair is just so thick, I need like a yeah, exactly. stronger comb. <laughs> All right, so for the sideburns, kind of the same thing, just take it down with like a two yeah. to start. Yeah, give me that. So tapering up the sides, lined everything up so I can kind of see it. Brush everything down. Silly faces only for Ben and Dean. <laughs> I'm in such good company. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. That's so nice. By the way, I love that like haircut you did. The '80s one. Oh, thank you. Oh, the one on Eric. Yeah, that one was. Uh, 
I liked it. Man, and then, you know, people didn't really receive it how they should have. Because uh, a lot of them were like, oh, it's too short on top. I was like, bro, the hairstyle, the reference hairstyle is short on top. Like, I don't know, people, it's everyone's like a barber a in the comments. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, you took it way too short on the bangs. I'm like, bro, like the Billy from Trainer Things has like two inch, three inch bangs. Like, and by the way, what's <laughs> the deal with like, there has to be a certain way to do a exactly. mullet, you know? There's no right way. Yeah, they're going too, too much on the blah, 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 on the crown and just do get I, I like to go down. real America with those mullets. I'll, I'll tell them, yeah, you know, we'll leave the back super long, but the front and the top, I go pretty yeah. short. So right now I'm just, just kind of pulling out and uh, just uh, cutting it into like a over, like kind of over directing it back so that it lays longer on the top of his ears. Because that's what he's going for. What scissors do you use? Hanzo's all day. All right, that's is that, interesting. Is that the one that Bob's use? Yeah, Bob, Bob uses Hanzo's. Yeah, the Hanzo's, they're, they're the best, I think, yeah. personally. Yeah, no, Hanzo's but. split a lot of people, you know? Uh, between like, oh, they're good. Because they lost that uh, lawsuit in Cali. If you bought Hanzo's in Cali, you got, you got your money back. Because they, they were in like false advertising because like the quality of the scissors. I've used like other they, scissors. Yeah. And I will say that I've had all kinds. And these ones, they stay sharp. Mm -hmm. They just feel right. They feel good, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you still have the pink Bloody Butcher ones? Yeah. But I, I saved those. I put those in my safe. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm like, these? hell no. I'm like not gonna use those. It's this brand's forum. It was a collab with the uh, Rootsville guys in, in Holland. And uh, Which yeah, the bar. I love them, yeah, by the way. Yeah. They're like my favorite. Yeah, I showed the hair reference photos are from uh, Milky the barber. He's yeah. one of their barbers. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen those pictures. That's yeah. all I got, too. And so, uh, so they're just pink, they're just hot pink scissors. Nice. That's like a collab and they're limited edition, so they're like not easy to get and, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I got some they're and special. I used them maybe once and I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I film, I'm just like, I can see the comments now. Like, <laughs> I always reference the viewers. But I did, on the last video, man, I got the Spice, uh, Spice Citrus Gang to, to drop some comments, you know? And, yeah. And, and prove Bob wrong, you know? <laughs> yeah. Spice Citrus is good, man. That's a good one, dude. It's a, I like that sound a lot. I imagine over the years, barbering has evolved because I, I went to a couple of barber expos back yeah. in the day. And they are very, like, urban driven i don't know if that's the right word but mm -hmm. like not very old school you don't you wouldn't yeah. find a lot of the old school yeah like, a lot of new school yeah, yeah exactly um which is you know always been more like what drives me you know is the yeah, more exactly. traditional but barbering but I, I don't think a traditional style expo will get people that excited because you have people signing up for design battles fastest fade battles and as tra more traditional barbers, like you're not into giving the fastest fade. You're not doing designs, you know? And so uh, a lot of the younger barbers these days, that is what interests them, which is cool that there's so many different lanes yeah. in barbering. It's good to have a, an outlet, like yeah. try to be more creative with yeah. something that's super mm -hmm. old and yeah. I'm more of like a like I'm, I like to I enjoy doing things over and over to perfect mm -hmm. it and yeah. just get it better and better every exactly. time because that's just what, what drives me. Yeah. Now, I would love to have a, more of a creative outlet sometimes, mm. but you know, that's why I do things like this, right? Yeah. Would it be okay with you if I wash your hair real quick? I mean, yeah. Okay. That's, that's cool. And then I'm gonna blow dry it, and then I'm gonna tune it up. Is that temperature okay? Yeah. I don't know, my big thing is, you gotta shampoo the hair, you know, because yeah. sometimes when people's natural oils are in their hair, like everything looks like it's laying perfectly, right? Uh -huh. Be like the most perfect looking haircut. You go yeah. wash it and you're like, oh my God, yeah. you gotta go, you know, go do the tune up on it. That makes sense. And 
it's not like it's any extra work for me. It's just part of the process for me, you know. What I like to do is pick hair like yours. Mm -hmm. I'll mostly dry it with the blow dryer first. High heat, kind of like go through the whole hair cut. Yeah. And then I'll take my diffuser and like run it through the hair to kind of like style it and also yeah. it just sits better. Not sometimes the hair can get really like um, really puffy, frizzy, so the diffuser kind of helps tame it a bit. I'm taking the, the foil shaver, I'm just kind of flicking it out because I, you know, fade him. I refaded him, but now I'm going back in and detailing it down to like a bald, bald taper. And That's then we're awesome. gonna like slick it back to where yeah. it comes together. Yeah, and I know this, when, with my hair, it's, it's effort. Like I definitely have to like yeah. uh, put product in it. So I definitely know like, yeah. I so let's try hair. some, <laughs> you wanna throw in the product right now or do you want me to do the shave first? Whatever your process is, you know, whatever. Uh, I might as well just, let's throw it in just so you can take a look at the yeah. final product. But you dig the taper yeah, on yeah. that? Oh yeah, okay, definitely, cool. that taper is, uh, that's all I needed. <laughs> That's like that right there is, uh, I'll sleep better now. Does that steam feel okay though? Yeah. It's not too hot, yeah, not too good. much? Okay. Enjoy it. Make sure it's hitting you right on the face though. Does that feel good? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this stuff? Yeah. This is shave oil. And then I've just got like an astringent, a beard wash, beard butter, beard oils, stuff like that, you know, pre-shave. purpose of the cold towel, especially in a barbershop environment, it's a, hey, you know, wake up, shave is over, and it closes up the pores and everything, but you know. 